Hey guys, it's Shells, and today I have a story for you. This has been all over Aussie news. We have a 12 year old Aussie boy who ran away from home and flew all the way to Bali because he had a fight with his mum. Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome hey, Tracy. to a Current Affair. Hello. 12 year old Drew isn't the first kid to run away from home after a fight. That's for sure. But he could be the first who made it all the way to Bali. <laughs> hopping on a Jetstar flight after breezing through customs here and Indonesia. What a How legend. How did he manage it? And could your child do it too? So basically, this kid had a fight with his mum. He's like, Mum, I want to play Fortnite. You won't let me. And he's like, F*** this, I'm going to Bali. This has to be the Aussiest story ever. It was great, because I wanted to go on an adventure. Oh, you're not going to believe what this kid's been up to. 12 years age, escaped from Australia, and then the parent was a little bit worried. Okay, thanks for the update, Kim Jong-un. Basically, you know the story's going to get really good when one of the top policemen in Bali is involved me dad what did this kid do shocked disgusted there's no emotion to feel what we felt when we found that he left overseas okay i'm assuming that's the mum milf alert or what that was a week you won't forget <laughs> hopefully not <laughs> <laughs> you little turd the 12 year old boy who took himself across australia and on to bali on his own with not a parent in tow. So a child can have an argument with their parents and leave the country. He just doesn't like the word no. How good's that? You can be a kid in Australia and just be like, F this, I'm sick of you, mum. I'm going to Bali. Can have a ripper of a time, you know, rude a few lady boys. I mean, whoops, uh, that's the wrong country. Uh, but, you know, you know what I mean. Have a great time. Don't ask me how I know about that, by the way. And no one stopped him at the border. It's too easy. It's way too easy. There's a problem. Yeah. We're in our system. What's the problem? This is the best problem I've ever heard in my life. You know, you have a fight with someone and you have a holiday. That's the Australian way. Drew is terrific on a scooter at the skate park. Okay, we get it. He rides scooters, okay? We get it. <laughs> I've had enough. We get it. But he's really good at being a travel agent. Okay, I just want to say something. Can we just appreciate how hot his mum is? I would so go her. Just straight out, I would bang her silly. Now, we've decided not to identify him so he doesn't get hassled over what he now regrets. What does he regret? Do not lie to us, A Current Affair. He regrets nothing, okay? What's happened from this? He is known as the 12-year-old kid that had a fight with his hot-ass mum, okay? And then flew to Bali and had a great time. How does he regret that? Every little 12 year old girl at his school is probably wet over him now. He's the scooter boy that went to Bali. Oh my God, he's so dreamy. He's a good kid. Ah, sure Just ask is. Linda, his nan. Oh, oh, actually, she could do, he's a little term, she could mind and, him. Um, well, his mum no, is out there doing whatever just, and I'm stuck with him, I'm over it. I'm sick of it, Tracy planet. Grimshaw. But Drew's a runner. Packed his bags and left home at the age of two, Top. but was caught at the local park. Okay, so he has a history of doing this kind of stuff. Really not surprising. Something must be going on at home, surely. This time, he upped it or not. Went to the airport and then grew and let me on. So, one of the airlines he tried to get on didn't let him on. So he tried another one. They needed a letter from Mum. They needed a letter Top. as well. Yeah. Now, he'd been... Borrowing the family credit cards to do these transactions. Borrowing? That's a funny term. I thought it was called stealing. But Garuda and Qantas wouldn't let him travel. Let him on the plane, you dogs! His separated parents. This has been great investigative journalism by A Current Affair to find out his mum is now actually single. Hats off to the people at ACA. Thank you for letting me know about that. I will be investigating that further. Soon found out about the two previous attempts to go overseas and alerted the Australian Federal Police. We screamed, we begged for help. So basically what has happened now is that Drew has tried to get on two different airlines to go over to Bali and uh, his parents now know because the AFP, the Australian Federal Police have now been notified 
And the AFP have told uh, Drew's mum, you know what? Nothing's going to happen. Don't worry. He's not going to be able to get on a flight. We won't allow that to happen. By the way, what's your phone number? No, but seriously, let's see what happens next. Now, Drew and Mum Emma, Dad Brett and his sister, knew Bali well. They have annual holidays there. Far out. This story gets more Australian by the second. I once heard a great quote by a very wise man. You're not Australian unless you've been to Bali. But Drew is never allowed to be away from his family's side in Bali. Ta! <laughs> he showed them. And then I looked up at Jetstar and they said it will work. Ta! <laughs> How good's this? Thank you, Jetstar. You know, they've been providing flights for ages for kids to go to schoolies. And now they're providing flights for 12-year-olds to run away from home and have a great time. Stand up and applaud Jetstar, everyone. They're doing God's work. Actually... Forget God's plan, because we've got Drew's plan. Don't worry, Nan was told by the AFP. No, this wouldn't happen. Um, it was, in case, you know, it just wouldn't happen. Um... So pretty much they've told Miss Trunchbull here, as well as Drew's mum, it's just not going to happen. He's not getting on that Jetstar flight. But guess what happened? With a Jetstar flight confirmed, Drew threw a few things in a backpack and grabbed his precious scooter. Honestly, if I hear one more thing about his little scooter, I'm gonna f break it, honestly, I'm over it. I'm sick of hearing, we get it. He rides scooters. Oh my God, this is breaking news. Bali, here I come, catching a train to the airport for a flight that unfortunately was via Perth. Wow, a current affair. You're just gonna throw shade on Perth and pretty much say it's a shit you're not wrong, though. It's going down the runway, and it's taking off. You're heading across the Nullarbor. And I wish I was going with you. You're heading towards Perth. What was going through your mind? Fuck, I'm a sick name. Hey. Ever been to Perth before? No. Have now. Didn't know much about the place? Nah. No. What'd you do? Ride me scooter. Went upstairs to where, like, watched the planes take off. Yeah. Trying to dodge the AFP. Dodge the coppers. Oh, you thought they might be onto you? Yeah. This kid's actually a smart little bugger, isn't he? Bali Bow. Beautiful. The 12 year old, all alone. This is what dreams are made of, the guys. Seat, taking these videos of the clouds. Just under four hours later, his flight touches down in Denpasar. He's made it, everyone. He has made it to Bali. And then they just asked for my passport. And then they asked if I was with anyone. And I said, no, my mum's waiting outside because she lives in Bali. <laughs> and I'll meet her outside. What a laugh. And, um, <laughs> He goes, stamp, okay. No luggage except for that backpack and a scooter folded inside. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm sick of hearing about this scooter. Someone snap it. I'm sick of it. We get it at current affairs. Is this, is this some scooter promotion going on or something? Because seriously, we don't care. He rides a scooter, good. He does a couple of bunny hops, good for him. Get on with the story. We do not care. Oh my God. You're pissing me off now. They let Drew in. He threw the bag in his room and hit the town, renting a motorbike. Now we're talking, f scooters off, ride a Harley and rip it around Bali. You gonna do those helmets up? <laughs> Oi, brother! How are you? Hey, mate, are you, are you right to drive? Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing driving the bike? I'm blind. You were actually driving the motorbike around? Yeah. Please tell me you had a helmet. Yeah. Nah, helmets are for pushies. Okay. 12 years old, and they gave it to you. You don't have a license. I have a bunch of burner licenses. They just want the money. No questions asked in Bali, are there? Why is the reporter acting so surprised? Oh my God, this happens in Bali. No way. Think of the children. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? The children? Ah, oh, come on, give me a break, mate. Everyone knows what happens in Bali, and everyone knows what happens in Bali stays in Bali. Four days. He walked the streets, did some shopping, sightseeing, took in the atmosphere. Jeez, this kid has the hardest life ever, doesn't he? Did you do anything that you shouldn't have done? Aside from the trip to Bali. You know, mate, did you did you do anything else apart from, you know, run away from your parents and steal their credit card and uh, book a flight to Bali and have the whole Australian Federal Police chasing you? You know, just anything else, you f***ing little idiot. I drank a beer. You did have a beer. He's proud of that one, isn't he? What a little legend. Where'd you have that? At the beach. At the beach. 
<laughs> oh, this story just gets better and better. You know the reporter's full hating on this little kid. He's like, how's this kid had the best fucking life ever? And I'm here stuck doing bloody interviews. Far out. Did someone in Bali actually sell you the beer? Yeah. Yes. There are people in Bali that do not give a shit about the law and just sell beer to get money. Didn't you listen? Each day he's come back to his room for a rest before hitting the beach, restaurants and, well, whatever else. Did you then start to think, how am I going to get out of this? Yeah, I was thinking how was I going to get home and then I don't know how, but I sent someone my location and then that's how mum called the AFP. And that's where the little genius slipped up. You know, he could have been living it up in Bali forever if he didn't give away his location on Instagram. Let's see what happened next. He'd been ignoring the frantic calls and messages from home on his mobile, but perhaps when he posted a video of his antics in the pool, the tracking device gave him up. That's when I collapsed. The police oh, rang mum with worst. the news. Uh, hello, uh, this is the Australian Federal Police. Is this Drew's mum? Uh, yes it is. Uh, this is Constable Johnson here from the Australian Federal Police. Uh, we've seen your son has given away his location on Instagram from uploading a video where he seems to be having the time of his f***ing life. Sink and piss, going to the beach and doing flips into the pool. Uh, stay where you are and let him live it up with your credit card. Cheers. And by the way, he's also uh, riding motorbikes in Bali too. Just had to let you know that one as well. There's an update. Cheers. It's the worst words of my life. They confirmed he left Australian waters four days previous. The Bali boy holiday was about to come to an abrupt end. Ah, you dogs, you party poopers. Let him have some fun. Thanks to Chief Police Commissioner Wirajara. The Australian Federal Okay, we've got Kim Jong Un back with a police report. Let's see how this goes. Police came to my uh, office and mentioned about that issue. That we were together, uh, proceed to the All Season Hotel on the time to check, and the hotel says that there is a teenager stay in the 115 room. You know. Will Drew stay or will Drew go? Hotel Travago. I just went to the beach and then by the time I got back, Conchula was there with Balinese police officer. Far out, they've got him now. They're on to him. I actually feel a little bit sorry for this kid. But then I remember he stole his mum's credit card and flew all the way to fucking Bali. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. He was in the bit when I came to the hotel. And he smiled. He's very nice. He's very cute. Ah, uh, pause. What did this guy just say? He's very nice, he's very cute, as usual as a kid. Uh, I don't know about you, that that seems a bit sus to me. I think I know what he's kind of trying to say, like he's a little kid and he's just a cute kid, like he shouldn't be caught up in all this, but I uh, know he could have used some better words, I think. Usual as a kid, you know. So I said I was going to get my stuff from the room. Yep. Nah, and I locked myself in the room. He put a chair under the door and closed all the windows. I was a bit scared about the police officer. Could you imagine actually dealing with this little kid? Like, he's the biggest little cunt that I've ever heard of or seen in my life. Like, the situation's just over, you know. It's time to go home, time to go to the airport, time to head home. And then he decides to lock the doors so you can't get it. Like, oh, <laughs> how annoying must it be for them? So funny, though. A few minutes later, they unscrewed the window yeah. and nabbed him. They told us, as a family, to sit tight. We'll bring him home. I keep him in a special room, in my stop room. I don't know about you, but this guy should just stop talking. It's getting more sus by the second. He is not in the jail because he is a teenager. We are not allowed to arrest and then he not commit the crime also in Indonesia. True. Drew had broken no Indonesian laws. You're telling me this kid is actually going to get away with it. How good is this? No one had a right to hold him or escort him to the airport for deportation. The AFP said we only had 24 hours, otherwise they'll let him go. Because legally in Indonesian law, he has done nothing wrong. So the race is on. Drew's mum and his dad have 24 hours to get to Bali to get him, or he's allowed to walk free. What a story. <laughs> How good is this? They should make a movie about this. Mum and dad rushed to Bali. Unfortunately, all direct flights were full, 
and they too had to go via Perth. You know, Perth, remember that shit hole they were talking about before? But once in Perth, with the clock ticking on that 24 hours, Jetstar stopped them from boarding the international flight. Yeah, Jetstar, doing it for the boys. They're not Dog and Drew, they're letting him have his holiday. They want him to get off scot-free. Oh, this is just classic, isn't it? This is like a really super Aussie version of the Amazing Race. Instead of winning a million dollars, you either win Drew or he wins his freedom in Bali. How good's this? Eventually, sanity prevailed. Ah, oh, you dogs. You know, everyone was happy. Drew was living it up in Bali. His mum was still being hot and single and being left alone. Didn't have to deal with him. You know, apart from him stealing heaps of money on the credit card, everyone was doing just fine. With the airline forcing them to sign a waiver. On the ground, they rushed to the cop shop. What happened when mum and dad were coming down the corridor and you're sitting on that chair? It was just like them walking in slow motion. <laughs> oh, you know, this kid is going to get absolutely belted. <laughs> Far out, get the wooden spoon out. Because this kid's going to get a flogging. I could see him through the window and he looked in, looked at us as we were driving in. And I just, I think I broke. That's, I was broken by then. Did you get a smack on the backside first or did you get a hug and a kiss? I got a hug off Dad. Mum didn't do anything. She was angry. Mum was just being a massive cow. We just wanted to know why, how, why, why do you... Did this happen? Why did you want to leave so bad to go to Indonesia when we go every year anyhow? All three of them checked into another hotel. Hold on. They're not even going home yet. No, Drew's over here. We might as well check into another hotel and live it up while we're here. <laughs> this is so Aussie. Oh my God. <laughs> For the next two days, he was never out of their sight. And unlike the two boarding passes in, this time they had three going out. They've been back a few weeks now and it's starting to sink in. And they all want to go back and live it up. You've got to be 18 to vote, you've got to be 18 to drink, yet you can be 12 and leave the country on your own. Yeah, that's right. And you can be 12 years old, steal your mum's credit card, do some backflips off some balcony into a pool, drink piss, go to the beach, ride motorbikes and wheelie around Bali. <laughs> How good. So easily fooling poli our Australian police, our federal police, customs, everyone. Next time on prison break, the 12-year-old kid that went to Bali and fooled everyone in Australia. Do you know that things could have happened to you over there? Are you aware Don't think of I was realising. Yeah. Because you're a smart kid. There's no doubt about it. I got a daughter who's one year younger than you and she... Shouldn't have said that, buddy. You don't want to give Drew any ideas to take your 11-year-old daughter over the barley next time he flips it at his mum. He wouldn't know how to leave our suburb, let alone leave the country and go to another one. So you're very cluey, but sometimes when you're at this age, I say this to my children, you know, you just don't know. There's things in the world that happen and can happen to you. Mate, next time please take me, okay? I hate myself right now. Tell me I'll never do this again. I won't. You won't? That's the biggest lie ever. Why? Because I know that I'll get in a lot of trouble next time. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Next time. Let me book the flight so we can all go together. Go in a caravan with mum and dad down the coast. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not happening, mate. Bali it is. God, this must have been the most Aussiest thing I've heard in a while. Seriously, what a story. Great banter, great Aussie banter. A hundred percent Drew, that 12-year-old kid, is going to be the next Ned Kelly of Australia. Honestly, I can just see it. He is that type of kid. But, you know what? Hats off to him. Hope they're having fun now, the family. And uh, the mum, I'm always here for you, baby. If you want to see more videos, guys, don't forget to click subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications. I'll be out here doing plenty of more videos. I'm always on Instagram uploading stuff, so if you want to keep up to date with everything, I'm on there as well. I've got Facebook and Snapchat, so check that out too. I'm also on Twitter, I think. I barely use it. Uh, <laughs> but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon, guys.
Fuck, 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 fuck